Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. Today I'm going to teach you how to switch to Apple uh, MacBook from Windows PC. So um, last month I bought a new MacBook. I've been thinking about it for quite a while to switch from MacBook to uh, from Windows to MacBook because I'm having audio dropouts when I'm using my uh, Windows PC during live performances. So finally I've decided and bought the um, Apple MacBook Pro. Uh, so the details of my MacBook, I'm now using a um, with a Monterey OS and then it's having a M1 chip and then I have a memory of 16 gigs and the storage of 512 gigs. So when I installed my um, Ableton, so I logged in to my Ableton and um, if you would see the video link that I put in the description below, initially when I was using Windows, I I have my free Ableton Live Lite, which I got for free when I bought my audio interface and then I upgraded to a standard and then finally moving on to suite so i was thinking when I, when I was about to download or install my ableton into my uh, into my macbook i thought i'm going to do, to go to the same process so i was surprised i don't need to do uh, i don't need to don't install from light to standard to suite i just needed to download this suite straight away from the account that i have in Ableton. So I just click this and then downloaded the um, Ableton software itself onto my MacBook. So after I have done that, hold on, let me close some of those windows. This one I'll minimize. So now I have my Ableton open. Um, but before I discuss to you this thing, I let me um, first link my my uh, Roland Digital Piano to my Ableton. So how I did that is that uh, using the audio MIDI setup, you just open the window and then show MIDI Studio. And then I installed the driver so that it will capture my uh, digital piano, okay? And then um, additional thing, additional things that I did was to create a um, output. Uh, I forgot how you call this thing. Um, multiple output device, and then I have um, added my Scarlett USB Focusrite audio interface, and then I have switched on Black Hole and the Scarlett. 2i2 USB audio interface. So the thing is when I moved to uh, the MacBook, I found out that my Roland audio interface is not recognized by the MacBook Pro, especially the one with the M1 chip. So I was, um, I needed to purchase a new audio interface and I decided to, pur to purchase the Scarlett uh, or Focusrite brand because I read the uh, reviews or the i went to the scarlet website and observed that the even a second generation can be used on the macbook uh, monterey uh, ios so as such i decided to go with the um, focusrite scarlet audio interface because i think uh, it is uh, even if i upgrade my ios to future versions my audio interface will still work so after you have um, enabled this, you can go also to Steam System Preferences and then um, hold on, go to Sound and then I enabled uh, Output to be my Scarlet audio interface so that I can hear my, um, my music or the things that I'm recording through my audio interface instead of my MacBook Pro speakers. So after I have 
um, enabled all of these things, then we go now to Ableton. Okay, the thing that I observe is that um, the preferences is not in the option uh, tab anymore. You can find it here in the live tab. And then you have to click to preferences again. And then what I notice is that the difference between uh, Windows and MacBook is that you have an additional audio input and output device. Uh, for um, for Windows, you have a uh, as you hear, then you have the um, device that you need to in include, and it automatically uses that uses it as an input and output device. But for um, but for MacBook, you can choose choose to differentiate between your input and output device. So for car for now, my setup, I'm using input a scarlet uh, audio interface because my microphone is going to the interface to go into Ableton and then uh, I have this um, black hole uh, the uh, sorry the one that I showed you a while ago the multiple output device that I've configured from the uh, output device of my MacBook Pro and I called it black hole Plantronics and then I didn't touch this and then I have two MIDI link I en enabled my Roland digital piano for input for my keyboards and then the IAC driver that will connect my I my MacBook to the Roland uh, digital piano then I have to enable for tracks and then sync and remote Then after I have in configured those, I have to install one by one the additional packs that I have from my Windows PC. So I have installed all of these um, packs that you can get from Ableton. Hold on. Huh? So the packs are actually yeah available here. Yeah, some of these are free, some of them you have to pay. So, yeah, I installed the packs that I have from my Windows PC again into my um, MacBook. So, some there are some videos that I have served that you can uh, like make one whole pack from the Windows PC and put it into your external device then transfer them into your MacBook. But I prefer not to do that. I just prefer to manually download each and every pack from Ableton and install into my PC and into my MacBook. And then um, I also um, reinstall all the plugins that I have. So I have my acoustic guitar here, my bass guitar, my drums. And then when I purchase my... Um, Scarlett uh, Focusrite audio interface. It comes with a free addictive keys that you can use for, uh, yeah, for for your um, patch piano patch. So if I try that, yeah, let me play something. So, yeah, after I have installed my plugins, then I am good to go. Yeah, so I think that's it um, for this video. Uh, if you learned something today, um, I hope you would uh, click like. 
and then if you like to see my future videos you can click subscribe again thank you so much for watching bye bye